Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Obviously, by the title of this video, I'm going to be reacting to AT's um, Golden Hour Part 2 um, album review. And I'm super excited because I know this came out about like two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, a week or two weeks ago. Um, but honestly, like I saw my teeth has been stuck on repeat. If you guys have not watched my reaction, I'll put the link up here so you guys can definitely go and check that out. But um, I'm so excited to actually listen to this. I know it took me a while to get into it. I'm super, super excited. Um, also, I think it was today or yesterday that I'm filming this. Um, Billboards, they announced that they were number one um, albums of the like for this week, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the sales. I pre-ordered my albums and I had gotten the three versions and a digi pack, a random digi pack through Hello82. Um, and I got them signed as well. So um, I got Hong Jun for one of the versions. I got Sun and I got Jung Ho. And then for the um, digi pack, which I have right here, I got Mingi. <laughs> I think out of all, all of the guys, uh, Mingi's was the the, the the autograph that i was missing and all i always pull like all of my photo cards there i get of all the guys but i always 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 get sungwa in my uh, whichever version doesn't matter which album at least in one album at least i get one sungwa and i got him in one of the versions and i got him in the digi pack as well so i was just like hmm, it's always meant to be i i know that i if i don't pull sungwa up when i'm you know unpacking my and um unboxing my my albums i know that he's probably in the last version and that's the case that's what that was the case this time it was so funny i was telling my mom i was like i know that i'm gonna pull him and the last the last version i go like this and he was one of the <laughs> ones that i pulled um but anyways enough of me yapping let's go on with my reaction to the first song of the album of the mini album which is called deep dive and um yeah i can't wait to actually deep dive into this album i I know that I've been missing out on the streaming and stuff, but let's go for it. Oh, also, I'm sorry, before I for before I forget, I did watch the highlight medley um when it first came out. I did watch it, so I do kind of know the just seconds of like some like the songs. But I know that most of the song is not gonna sound like that because or how I imagine, because I know that they usually what they what they show us is literally so small compared to like what the whole entire song is so that's why i'm like super excited to actually fully listen to the songs now because i could finally actually hear the whole entire thing without having to guess what type of sound it's going for i also sorry sorry that i keep pausing them I'll, I'll go back to the beginning um i also know that these are not 100 percent accurate like this these translations so um if you see anything that's a little off just and if you want to comment it down below i would definitely be reading that because i do read every comment but yeah i know that these are not like 100 percent accurate but they gave us at least majority of like what the song is about so that's why i usually go for these Well, it sounds so good. Oh. Let me tell you that part, this part where he was talking about the higher you go, the more you suffocate. It reminds me of Sugar from BTS, his song for Shadow. That literally, that song is one of my favorite songs of his actually because it's so like all of his lyrics are so meaningful but when that song came out i feel like it was in one of those critical moments for bts where they obviously were so high in like i mean they still are super famous but they were just getting to that peak of like being so big worldwide and he wrote that song and if you guys ever I have listened to it or if not you should guys should definitely go check out those lyrics because uh, this whole like holding your breath until you like all this like 
uh Mingi saying how like the height and all that stuff like honestly it literally literally reminded me of Shadow um from BTS if you guys have not wa- actually heard it you should guys should definitely go but yeah this the song is good so far the way that uh Ooyoung actually started and it went to Sungwa that transition was really cool <laughs> this part the higher you go the more suffocating it becomes <laughs> I love Yuno's voice. So good. Kong Tu. Oh. Oh, that back and forth is good. Also, these lyrics are so crazy. Um, I actually like the fact that I mean, ATS has always been the type of group to actually write down their, their, their feelings. And well, we have one day at a time. We have fever. We have all these other songs, turbulence. Um, that they really go with like th- deep emotions. Um, but lately they've been really, really opening up to like showcasing, um, how they're feeling. And I'm guessing it's also a good reminder to them of. The hype that they're having, especially this year, which they did Coachella, they did all these other festivals that are huge. They got nominated for K-pop album of the year, I think, K-pop album um, for Billboard Music Awards. And they've just been going really, really big this year. Um, And honestly, like these are the type of feelings that I'm pretty sure they feel even though they have like such they're having such fame and such hype right now the feelings that they have must have right now have have to be so much like anxiety and all stuff so these lyrics are crazy i the reason why i stopped aside from the lyrics was because you know's part the way that he said saying toxic and i don't know what was the other word so freaking amazing he sounded so good Beautiful. I gotta say, this is so relatable. This beat is so good. Your song sounds great. I was waiting for this guy. Damn, they're gonna finish with him? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they finished off with Hong Jun. Are you joking right now? Wow. I was expecting him to pop up in the big, be- like, not in the beginning, but I mean, like, closer like towards the middle like right after mingi or something um but the fact that they actually finished off with him and his lyrics i don't know hongjun has a way with words and mingi does too but i just hongjun has a different approach to how he comes up with like his song like his raps um his rap parts and honestly like the fact that he they finished off with him that's wild to me like oh 
they're so good the tone of voices were so nice um yo song sounded amazing you know sounded amazing sungwa that going back and forth with sungwa and new young were was great and san obviously san and jung ho like you know um they all sounded so freaking good and i really like the vibe of it i think this is a good way to start an album i'm more of i i know this is not a thing for everybody but i love when i prefer when albums flow like they have an actual flow it's not like i don't want to listen to an album on like throughout without hitting shuffle and it sounds like a shuffle thing I, that's just me not that i don't listen to those albums but like i like when albums flow and i'm hoping that it, this one does <laughs> i'm hoping that this one does but the way that this first song came out was really really good i really enjoyed that let's listen to scene one i'm gonna uh, say that it's kind of like a little i don't know intro or some sort of like filler song or something i don't know i might be wrong up at this point Yeah, like a scene. You hear like a reel, like a film reel. Oh, the humming. That is creepy. I wonder if that if the if that scene one thing value is it like a preview to like another song in the next album because they tend to sometimes do that they did that with uh with i think it was with answer or was it desire I th or maybe both but i know that they did some they, they've done that a couple of times where you hear that in like a small like interlude song in like one of their first albums and they ended up using it like literally not so long ago they tend to do that a lot so this one might be uh the scene one value might be a preview to another song that might be coming up which i wouldn't mind because actually it sounded really good it was a little creepy that humming in the beginning i was just like what the heck I, at first i thought it was like some strings or something like some violin or something but no then i heard it was actual humming like that that was creepy i will say but once that b switched to the like, the actual song um, the beat was so nasty. It was great. I freaking really, really enjoyed it. But I'm actually excited to actually listen to Man on Fire. I've heard so many good things about this one and the Selfish Waltz. I People have been saying that these two are really good songs. But I don't know. Everybody said 18 is we love every song up there. So we, we get it. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, let's go on with Man on Fire. Yeah. He's not going to start it. You know, this is Yuno's era, bro. I'm losing my, sense. I'm losing my mind, you know. You know. <laughs> he annoys me. <laughs> Not in a bad way. He's just. He sounds so freaking good. I, you know, I, people sleep on you know. I always say that you know he has like this. His voice is so great, like a center voice in the sense where like he can do high notes beautifully and he can do this beautifully. I feel like he's such a good like center voice in the sense where he can pull like all of the voices together. I don't know if that makes sense. Like. You know, obviously the guys can some sing higher than others, but I feel like Yuno can do everything. He's kind of like the dark horse in a way of this group. That's how I feel. I don't know. Or maybe it's just because he's one of my biases. But like other than that, like as aside from that, I do think that he's like a dark horse in this group. I think like he's literally kind of like the ace in that sense where he can bring both like all ranges of vocals together. I feel like he does. A, he's a really good like center focus. Like I don't know if I'm explaining it, but I freaking love it. He sounds so great in this one. 
That's crazy the way he comes in. This is giving like a line vibe. Where are we going? Oh yeah, for sure. This is this is like a heavy like reggaeton trap, like Latin trap. That's how I see it. And I'm Latina, so yes. I'm vibing here. That oh that that thing in the back where you hear it's kind of like building up like it was creepy I will say, <laughs> but it was just like building up while Mingi was saying his last parts in the in his in his uh ramp. Pretty crazy. This part you hear it in the back. This song's a little freaky, I will say. <laughs> Damn! Jungle! I, I don't know, would you? Oh, okay. Oh. I like how breathy he sounds. Let me breathe. You know, oh my god. It's the way that he comes in. Like it's it's so subtle but like sec like sexy. Okay, I'm done. Maybe I'm not, but like leave me alone. This song this song bro. Guys, they're dating. I don't care. We're gonna do what? <laughs> Mingi, my guy. It's the way that he's saying it, too. I can't with this, bro. I don't think I'll. Are we ever finishing this? This part. Why is he whispering? No dog. We ain't gonna about to just surpass back to back. Back Mingi and then freaking hung to. No, I can't do it. I can't do with this. This song. This song, bro. It's hot in here. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't care. Between this song and Blind from Golden Part 1, Golden Hour Part 1, Blind and this is giving me like freaking J Balvin vibes. And I know that J Balvin followed the guys like Mingi and Hong Joon. And I know that they kind of did like a secret thing there that we'll probably see soon, which I, we're all thinking this is a Billboard Music Awards, but I don't know. But um, we all know that J this is giving me, I was not expecting that B Switch. Well, like that. Not beat switch, but like, I guess like that tempo, a beat thing. Well, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, 
this in the car. This in the car. Just saying. Okay, my my take on this. The whole song was so hot and sexy. I mean, there's no other way that I could say it. Like, honestly, it was so hot and sexy. Like, the way that they were singing it, obviously, they were, like, kind of, like, whispering, seducing us type of thing. Like, that's how the vibe of the song is. Also, because of the lyrics. So, that's what the, the vibe that I'm getting it was kind of, like, obviously, we're getting into temptation, sinning, blah, 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 whatever. You know, our irises are dilating, all that stuff aka Hong Jun's part but anyways but I do love like like I said it sounded very like Latin trap type of thing and then towards the end it, it just like that little bit of a speed up with the beat was great um I feel like this in the car would be amazing you know I'm telling you you know <laughs> I don't know dog this is something happened to him this year I don't care something happened to him this year that he's just on another level on another level bro on another level this is another song that I know everybody was everybody was has been hyping so much um i also read that hangju wrote this or he produced this song about a couple of years ago and now is when they decided to you know come out like put this out there so i'm excited to actually hear it because hangju has i i always say he's like a chameleon hangju has this ability to be able to do any type of music and he does it so well and i think obviously it's his love for music but i also think because he just like actually studies like what he loves to do the most and i think um he produces and he writes like from his soul like it's in his veins i don't know how to explain it but i'm just so excited to actually listen to the song because i've heard so many things and based off of the highlight medley that i listened to like two weeks ago when it when it first came out two or three weeks ago um it sounded very very good so I, this was actually one of the songs that i was excited to actually listen to from the whole album so yeah let's let's listen let's listen to selfish waltz this is gonna be like i think this is the one that kind of sounded kind of gave me like cyberpunk vibes yeah this one i love that your song started this oh. Sad. Oh, young. Oh, slow down. Oh, that's nice. This is like a whole like it's kind of like a toxic relationship. Like who her Hong Jun? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually wow. I I I love the fact that the guys are writing more about I guess like relationship stuff. I don't want to say that they've been on a relationship. I'm pretty sure they, they're dating and stuff, but whatever. But that's besides the point. Like, I like the fact that they're actually writing more. Like, I've noticed that they started writing more, like, love songs and breakup songs. And, like, like actually, like, talking about love. It's not just, like, oh, yeah, 18 -y or, you know, about, like, dystopian stuff. Like, they're actually, or, or, like, even about, like, stuff that is happening around the world. Which is great to hear. Don't get me wrong, because I do love that stuff as well. But I like the fact that because they haven't really written those type of songs in like the, when they first started, um, the fact that they're doing it so often now, it's really good to see. Like I, for me as an 18e, because I'm just like, wow, they can also write about these things 
they also it's also relatable for like a, a, most of us or a lot of us that have been in re- been in relationships like that or you know whatever the case is but i do really enjoy the fact that they're actually writing more about these things i don't want it to be like all a whole like love and breakup songs all the time because obviously we know what their whole lore and storyline does but i do love the fact that they're actually writing more about these things and yeah like this is kind of like in a way like a toxic relationship at least that's what i'm getting from it this is really good Oh, I love this. This whole vibe of the album so far has been so good. vocals jungle and that's that that last that last yeah sounded so desperate like so desperate i don't know if it makes sense oh so good the song is so yeah it goes into the same category as like cyberpunk it gives me like that same like synthy vibe but i do love the i love the um the lyrics so like i said i love the fact that they're writing more about these situations like they might have not gone through that and i'm hoping they didn't because i'm just kidding but (laughs) but at the same time i do love the fact that they're doing that they're writing more about these things i guess they make it makes it more relatable like I don't know. I feel like in K-pop, you you do have those groups that do talk about love and stuff like that, but it's not. I don't know at this level. I guess I don't know if I'm. I don't want to like talk bad about the other groups. I'm not, that's not that's not the point. But uh, hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about. Okay, and then we're going on to the last song, which is enough. I skipped. Obviously, I skipped. I saw on my teeth because obviously I reacted to it. Like I said, I'll put the link up here, so you guys can definitely go watch it. But uh, my reaction to it. But um, this is the last song of the album. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was like the one that it was like Yo Sang and Woo Young in the highlight medley, um, and it was all in English. So I'm excited to actually hear. It might not be all in English, but I'm thinking that it is because of like the the snippet that they posted on the highlight medley. It was all in English, so I'm excited to actually hear this one and to see how they finish off this whole entire like this actual mini album. So yeah, let's go on with enough. These pictures are crazy. So good. Oh. They sound so different here. This is the part that we that I listen to. This is giving me uh Imagine Dragons vibe. This is what's giving me. Like Imagine Dragons slash like Coldplay, but mostly Imagine Dragons. I really like this. Fur 
Even when the world push you away, you remember that moment that we should together. That I look up on the night, get the cup of ketchup, and just take a breath. That's enough. Sometimes you gotta These lyrics. This is like goes hand in hand with one day at a time. Oh. If they added another part, I think I would have literally cried. I literally have tears in my eyes. This kind of, this kind of reminded me of when I first listened to Turbulence. Um, and the part that got me that I literally almost cried, my tear, my, my eyes got so teary right now. Um, it was the, the actual bridge because it honestly, like it just reminded me of the reason why I got into K-pop and, and I'm, I'm going to get a little personal, nothing, nothing bad, but, um, but like 2019 was a really tough year for me emotionally. Um, I got, I'm not, I'm not a person to get depressed or anything, but that year was my, I guess you can say like my first really bad depression. And I had it for literally all, the whole entire year. And the moment that I got into K-pop, which was in the summer of 2019, like around July, August around, yeah, July or, or August, I started getting into K-pop and the first, obviously the gr first group I got into was BTS. Um, and their music helped me so much to get out of the horrible funk that i was in and the second group that i got into was 80s the second group that i ever listened to was 80s and i never expected to get to this point where i am now which has already been five years where i am probably I, i'm way better than what i was in 2019 um i still have my moments but i'm still getting there and the fact that this song just oh the song was just so beautiful it, they always have this way of touching you with their lyrics especially like one day at a time that song is literally when i have those type of like not the best days for me that song is just amazing for it, like to make me feel better among other songs that i have of like other groups and stuff but like one day at a time for me is that and this gave me it like it goes hand in hand with one day at a time um just the lyrics like they're just giving you the uplifting and it's not so much like oh get better you'll be fine you're enough it's not only that but it's just like them telling them like telling us like oh we're here with you like just grab my hand we'll go with you and even though i don't know them personally even though i've seen them like three times already in concert but obviously i have not really been so 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 close or i don't even know them like that but yeah I, they make it seem to the point where you're literally like best friends with them like if they weren't in your life honestly we wouldn't be here where we are today like they obviously help us get better and this song is actually one of them and i freaking loved it so much i'll probably say it's probably my number one song from the whole album but it's hard to say because i will say that this whole album was so freaking good it was so good lyric wise the sound i love the flow of it like i said earlier i'm one of those type of people that prefer prefer for albums to flow 
um, not just have been like all over the place. And um, not that I don't listen to the other albums, but like I prefer albums that flow throughout the songs. Like this album has an amazing flow. They gave us a bit of, uh, of everything. They give us synthy like 80s vibe, like how they did with cyberpunk. But they also gave us like a Latin trap with like Man on Fire. They gave us so many things um, in a short, like in what, like five, six songs. But I do love the fact that it it flows. I freaking love this album. The lyrics are crazy. I'm finally gonna be able to freaking stream it. I'm finally gonna be able to actually listen to it um, because obviously I wasn't able to do it right away as soon as it came out. But I'm so excited that I actually did this album review because these guys, uh, they're literally, they're literally, I love them so much. They're literally my top group right now. They're my ults. I love them so much. They give me such happiness and i have so much stuff of theirs like you don't see it but it's like all here i freaking love them and i will continue supporting ats because i just think that they're doing amazing things and they're amazing guys they deserve everything and so much more from what they actually what's going on with them especially this year has been so grand for them um and i'm so happy to be an 18 and i'm so happy for them and i love them so much but anyways if you guys enjoyed my reaction, don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite song? What what did you think about this album? Where are we going? Since when have you been an 18 -y? You know, stuff like that. But anyways, I love you guys so much. I love you 80s. I love you so much. But anyways, I love you 18 so much. Until next time. Bye bye. <laughs>